What is up YouTube? I am back with another video. And so far in politics, it seems like the presidential race will end up being between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton based on how are things going. Personally, my preference, I don't like any of these candidates. So in this video, I'm breaking down the electoral map because, for example, a lot of people are thinking that there's no path to victory for Donald Trump. And I actually believe that Donald Trump will beat Hillary Clinton in the general election. And in the description, there's going to be a link to the electoral map. So let me explain to you this whole process. So in the general election, there's going to be the Republican nominee and the Democrat nominee, likely to be Trump and Hillary Clinton. And you need 270 delegates to win the presidency. So if, but how to win a state, each state has X amount of delegates and how to win each state is you just get the popular vote. Doesn't matter if you get thousands of more votes than the other candidate or just five votes more than the other candidate. If you're number one, you get all of the delegates from that state. So looking at the map here, usually how these elections go down to are the swing states. Usually about 35 to 40 of the states, you know how they're gonna vote. For example, California will always go Democratic. Texas will always go Republican. So in this year's election, it looks like we have about 11 swing states. And if you look at this map, all of the Democratic, just about guaranteed Democrat states equal to 217 delegates. All of the about guaranteed, you know, Republican states equal to 191 delegates. So you need that 270 to win. So these, the Democratic Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, how they're going to campaign is they're going to spend most of their time in these, sw these 11 swing states. And looking at these swing states, I think Donald Trump would most likely get more, which will get him the presidency. So let, let's go first. Let's, let's tell you what these swing states are. So there's Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Ohio, Wisconsin, Iowa, Colorado, and Nevada. So there's actually, I think, 10. So I'm going to break down how I think each of these states will vote. So first we have Florida. Trump, Trump for Florida, Florida is the biggest swing state, 29 delegates. And right here, Florida is like Trump's second home. In the Republican primary, he absolutely dominated, even dominated Marco Rubio, who, in which Florida was his home state. And in this general election, I think Trump would get Florida. And which is arguably the most important swing state. And the biggest, of course. The th Ohio is considered to be the next important swing state because every presidential candidate that has won has won Ohio. And based on the speculation, it looks like John Kasich will be asked to be Donald Trump's vice presidential candidate. So if if this becomes guaranteed, Trump will also win Ohio, which is another 11 delegates. This one is speculative, but if Kasich is not Trump's VP, then I think it would go to Hillary Clinton. But in my opinion, if Kasich is Donald Trump's VP, Trump will win this election. And why I'm saying Kate, it's all about Kasich Kasich is the governor of Ohio. He re he ran for president. He just postponed his um his uh campaign today. And Kasich is wildly popular in Ohio. If you have him on your ticket, Ohio is guaranteed. Again, Ohio is considered a key, a huge swing state. For example, in most states, John Kasich only pulled between 10 to 20%. 
but he actually won Ohio in the Republican primaries and dominated. That just shows you how popular the guy is in his home state. So if Trump can get John Kasich on his ticket, he'll have himself Florida and Ohio, which are two of the three biggest swing states. So the second biggest swing state is Pennsylvania. I think that goes to Hillary Clinton. She did good there in the Democratic primaries. And I feel like Pennsylvania typically leans a little more to the liberal side. The next swing state we have is North Carolina, which Barack Obama won. And to be honest, I think they're going to lean Republican because the reason why I think Barack Obama won North Carolina was, let's just be honest, it's because Barack Obama is black, you know? North Carolina is a very big African-American population. And if you think about it, you know, Barack Obama, he's literally a perfect, pre if you're ignoring politics, he's a perfect presidential candidate in that, you know, he's a minority, he's got charisma, he just comes off as a cool dude you can just chill, chill with, you know what I mean? So if you're ignoring especially politics, I don't hate Obama, but if you ignore politics and just as a candidate to, to get elected in a race, Barack Obama is a, a perfect candidate just to win the office, whatever office you want, you know, because he has so many characteristics that people appeal to. So I think, you know, North Carolina, which has 15 delegates here, it will go red. Virginia, I also think it will go red, um, which Virginia has 13 delegates. They've had a rough time over the last couple of years. They've lost a lot of jobs. And typically they're a little bit more conservative, but with with how tough it's been over there, I think it's very strong, even more of an initiative for them to vote red. So Trump will probably get Virginia. Trump also won Virginia and North Carolina in the primaries. So did Hillary, but Trump's turnouts have been bigger in these states typically lean a little bit towards, you know, Republican. So the next state we have is New Hampshire, four delegates. I think Trump wins that. Um, he's he's from New York, so the Northeast area. I think, tr I think Clinton will win pretty much the entire Northeast but New Hampshire, but Trump did very strong in New Hampshire in the primaries, absolutely dominated. Hillary did very bad in the primaries against Bernie Sanders in New Hampshire, so I think I think Trump's got that one. And then we are going to Wisconsin. I think Hillary Clinton will win Wisconsin. Um, I believe she beat Bernie Sanders in Wisconsin, but don't quote me on that. And I I know Trump struggled big in Wisconsin. He he lost to uh, Ted Cruz, so I think Wisconsin will lead to, will lean towards um Hillary. But then again, there's Scott Walker in Wisconsin, who's the governor of, you know, Wisconsin. He's considered like Republican Jesus. He's massively popular. And he ended up endorsing Ted Cruz. And that really helped Ted Cruz win Wisconsin. So we'll see if Scott Walker either campaigning with Trump or endorsing Trump. We'll see if that will help Trump win Wisconsin. But I still think he comes up short. In Iowa... That one is close. It can really go either way, but I'm leaning a little bit towards Hillary Clinton just because um, Trump didn't win Iowa in the Republican primaries, and in Iowa they're they're very you know religious, and you know Trump doesn't come off as that. So I don't think it'll go that way. Colorado, I really think this one can go either way. Nine delegates. Oh, yeah, by the way, Wisconsin had 10 delegates. Iowa has six. Colorado, again, nine delegates. I think this one can go either way, too, but I'm going to lean towards Hillary. Even though Trump was more impressive in the primaries than Hillary when it came to Colorado, I just think overall she'll find a way to win it. I mean, they legalized marijuana. They have to be pretty liberal, you know what I mean? So, I think I think Colorado would go to Hillary, and Nevada. This one's a big one too. It very unpredictable because 
Nevada was usually a Republican state, but the last two years, they they went Democrat in the general election. Nevada's worth six delegates, and did and the question is, has Nevada gone you know Democrat the last two elections just because they found a liking to Barack Obama a lot both times? Or was it because that they've actually changed ideologically? So, and if you look at the primaries, I mean, Hillary did pretty good. She won. But I mean, Trump absolutely dominated Nevada, even dominated the Hispanic vote. So, this one, I can't even, I don't know which way it's going to go. But for argument's sake, let's just say you give it to Hillary Clinton, right? So... So I'm marking up this map with everyone who, with all my predictions I've just made, which I think they're pretty safe predictions. And in the end, in the end, Donald Trump would have 270 delegates, which wins you the nomination, and Hillary Clinton will have 268. So... I think Trump definitely does have a path to victory, and I do predict he will win because Trump is a guy where in the beginning he's going to be underestimated. And when that guy goes on the campaign tra trail, he's going to find ways to make the other candidates look bad. In the debates, he's going to show up, make the other candidates look bad, and I think this is going to go in his hands. So, my prediction, if it's Hillary versus Trump, I think Trump wins. Not excited for either candidate, but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think. Do you think some of these states will vote differently than I stated? If so, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Leave a like. Peace.